Welcome to the Daily Gnosis. I'm Agent Proper. In today's rundown, we're going to go through a couple things. Right now, the hot topic is LSP's removal from the detractor community, and that's under his own doing. He recently put out this tweet, and it was a fucking mistake. No doubt about it. He fucked up. All right? You don't go ahead and threaten a dox over some bullshit, and then go ahead and try to have somebody act as your agent to perform that dox. That's stupid. He apologized for it. It was a misstep. I've talked to him personally. We can all move on. He's going to take some time away. And when he comes back, if he comes back, that is his choice. Just like Leanna rejoining Twitter is her choice. She knows what she's stepping into. And it is her own doing. She has survived most of the vortex. And she's moved on from DSP. So leave her be. Buy her soap. Do whatever. You find funny, who gives a fuck? We're all adults. Carry on. So, Phil decided to stream The Last of Us 2 today. And he got to a very important scene. We got the clip right here. And, as you will see, Phil actually kind of clowns it up a bit. Yeah, not a children's entertainer, right, Phil? Not not somebody like Dr. Disrespect. Right? Should I go find the people that killed my family? cut into them. I could torture them until they're crying now. Two idiots. Sir. Abby. I told you two fucking idiots. Terrible writing. It's the most cliche fucking writing possible, is what it is. Oh, this is delightful. Uh, Neil Druckmann, ladies and gentlemen. Neil fucking Druckmann. This is what he wanted in his game. Remember Last of Us 1? All those really gratuitous sex scenes that were in that game? How great that game was because of it? Embarrassing. It's the best way to describe that shit. Embarrassing. Pathetic writing and fully embarrassing. What is this now? What the fuck? Now we're back here? What? Anyway. Well, Eric tipped $5 screaming he's gay, he's gay, he's totally gay. Good for you. Thanks for the $5 tip. Only Ice Coffee resubscribe at tier 2 for two months in a row. Thank you for the tier 2 sub. Is finally I can share this moment with you. Oh, yeah. It's really something proud to share with everyone on the internet, right? You probably make a compilation of how people fucking react to that stupid shit. All right. Um, Resburgu took $10. He said, my lord, it was painful to watch. I hope everything is okay. It, was, it certainly was painful. I can't believe that Druckmann fucking ruined this shit as bad as he did with the nonsense he put into this fucking game. But anyway, uh, fifteen dollars. There we go. <sighs> Phil had his brief run-in with the FGC again, and Phil's an old-timer FGC OG, right? Fourth place finish in Evo. Well, Evo is having its own issues, and that might go ahead and warrant a video on it from me. And it's some shady, disgusting shit that's going down over there. And if you're uninformed, there's plenty of other people out there talking about it right now on Twitter, Discords, Kiwi Farms, anywhere you want to find it. Scumbags are getting revealed. And that's too fucking bad. You know, sometimes they deserve it. But... Phil decided to go ahead and put out some viral tweets once again to go ahead and just kind of push the fact that he is outlasting everybody. That's right. Alpha Chad Phil is outlasting the FGC and Evo now because companies have pulled their games from Evo due to this whole thing going down in the Smash community. 
because, well, they're all joined at the hip, correct? And now other places will still have tournaments. I'm sure the Capcom Cup will go on and various other Tekken tournaments or whatever you have will happen. But Evo might be stopped. And Phil might have outlasted Evo. Probably not. Now, Phil went into his final stream of the night. Fest Streak has hit 164 now because he got $105 worth of tips. That's right. Once again, a pay piggy probably bailed him out. It's been happening frequently and often. And it will bring us into our next little mention that he had to stop the stream and go and check to see if Alfred Aponte was actually Alfred Aponte because he said the vest streak was greedy. So Phil put pause on the stream, looked at his phone, checked his email, saw that it wasn't that guy, and went, okay, good, now I can make a joke. Oh, because I can't check the email. Yeah, you can. Phil almost fucked up and revealed that you can actually see who goes ahead and tips you via PayPal on an email account. And Phil's checked it time and time again because he doesn't like those lovely, lovely chargebacks that we all get to point and laugh at him about. So good job, Phil. You kind of dodged that one from your pay piggies, right? Your cult is none the wiser once again. And tonight, we'll just go ahead and wrap it up with some somber news, sadly. Streamer Wreckful sadly passed away at the age of 31 due to suicide. His ex-girlfriend found out earlier today. Now, this is a touchy subject. This should never happen. There is plenty of opportunities to go and seek help if you're ever in this kind of a situation. Please help yourself and go ahead, call a hotline, talk to a good friend, do whatever you can to avoid what happened here. Phil made some kind of strange comment on this situation during his first stream. All the stuff I wanted to really talk about. Um, sadly, today is not a great day. Um when it comes to bullshit on the internet and all kinds of fucked up stuff in real life, man. And I don't mean anything that applies to me. Thank God. I'm okay. That is a pathetic maneuver, Phil. This is a sad situation. There is no need to go ahead and say, well, it's not me too bad. Because he has been somebody who is depressed before. Remember, he was the king of depression. He should know better than to act like this, but he chose the opposite route, made a slight joke, and just looks bad doing it once again. And I'm sure there are ads on his earlier stream, because, well, he's a scumbag. So, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Stay safe out there, and hopefully you enjoyed the Daily Gnosis.